Welcome back to the channel. Today we are unboxing and reviewing from a WWE Elite 107, Finn Balor. Here is the rest of the set we have reviewed. On. Finn is the first figure we are reviewing in the set. We've got the cutter here. Maybe down the line I'll pick up uh, the Otis and Mauler. But I can't find any of those for them to save my life. Same with the Korra, but just generally not a fan of Korra. So, let's leave this back. Again, Mattel, what is this? Look at all that space you've got there. I'm not one of those people that defend that, but that's just a waste. And, and, we, and I thought we discussed this, Mattel. You do not do the holy thing anymore, because the holy thing hurts me fingers. Gonna cut back once we've got that hand finger out. So we're back. Finally got this hand out. Mattel cannot design peg holes to save their lives on their figures anymore, but that is to go and pair with your other hand that you've got here for his like entrance. And then you've got two grappling hands here, both with the tattoo on. I'm gonna be displaying where the tattoo hurts. So let's take this one off. Please while we're right, take the jacket off as well. go so you get two pair of the gun hands two pair of the mic holding one with a tattoo and one with no tattoo and that's going to show you where the hands are the extra heads you get you get one that's like a studded mask if I can get it on, get it on the screen no, it's just pure black and studded. And then you get smooth the bit of the hair in the back. Jacket does look alright. Let's try it actually on the fin figure. Take it off just to put it back on. Because I think it looks alright. The Judgment Day fit. We have the hood up. Yeah, that that looks pretty alright. To me, anyway, it does. Have to do that. If not, you could use that for an AJ. If you don't feel comfortable with him having the hood up. Oh, I do like the jacket. It's got the nice silver lining there. So it's designed like a zipper. So. Not really anything that bad about the accessories wise, just don't like the way Mattel put the hands molded in the back in. Articulation wise, chest, arms, good. Do like the basic hand scan on here, we'll be displaying with it. Could have done a bit more uh, grey bits on the beard, or white tamer, whatever it's called. But chest also, everything upper body wise is perfect. Legs. Bit stiff to be honest, but not that bad. This is my main complaint with this figure. It's this towel thing here. They made it properly removable, like where you had with the Jeff Hardy figures, Jeff Hardy Elite. Then I would not complain at all. But rather than that, my only real complaint with this figure. But it's a big one. Let's cut a lot of playability out of it. So, in my opinion, I'd give it a... Uh, eight and a half out of ten. Only because of that thing purely on its own. If they do do another Finn Balor in this style, then cut the towel out. Make it like the Jeff Hardy's, where you can just remove it. So anyway... If you did enjoy, you can like, comment, subscribe. If you haven't done so already, that'd be great. Thank you and goodbye.